Hey, what's up? So, so you know it's best here. This is a demo of the brand new Twitter application Tweety2. Now, this is a sequel to one of the best Twitter applications in the App Store right now, and I'm really liking it so far. So I primarily ever use Twitterific as my default application for Twitter, but now I think I might have to make a switch. Tons of new features and enhancement in this version. So you can see here the layout is pretty much the layout hasn't changed too much. Uh, it's very nice, simple, clean layout. Uh, but one of the new, new features in here that I really like is that ability to actually be able to refresh them and how easy it is to refresh your, your tweets. So it's not a, not a new ability, like I said, but it is something that is very simple the way they implemented it. So all you need to do to refresh your tweets is to scroll down and release. And it'll actually refresh your tweets just like so. So I don't know whether this is brand new to Tweety uh, too. I think it is. I haven't used Tweety in a long time, but I think it is. But either way, it's cool. I like it. So you see here, you scroll down, it says release to refresh. Boom, there it is. Uh, also, if you want to go ahead and search within your timeline here, going to start searching for a tweet that you saw earlier so you know the person that sent it, but you don't want to scroll through all of them, go to type, start typing in, it'll automatically populate some of the close messages. So there are my tweets right there just by typing in S O L. Uh, that stands for enough something else, but we ain't gonna go there. All right, and um, and basically the timeline is very slick, very smooth. I really like the timeline. Everything is good with that. Um, so say you want to go ahead and, and type a new t uh, tweet. I can't talk today, but a new tweet. And so you can go ahead and start typing in here just like so. But right here where it shows you the um, the character remaining, if you click on that, it'll bring up this. Uh, uh, some more options to do within here and again a lot of these things aren't new but I think they are very well implemented some applications do have these some don't so this is very good that this one does have them so you can take a picture straight with your camera and upload it you can choose one straight from your photo library or picture like so boom pops up there's attachment right there and compared to Twitterific that loads very fast so when you go back here you can geotag to put your location into your tweet uh, at username say you want to have this um, um, go to somebody else or reply to somebody else. I'm going to find that person. Go ahead and start typing in Macintosh chips. And they're going to choose that. Boom. It populates like so. And hashtags. And also you can shrink your URLs within the application itself. So that's good. And if you wanted to send it, go ahead and send that. All right. And you see here at the bottom here, these are all your options. All right. And these are all the options for as your app replies. And you see here is a little blue light right below my DMs and my direct messages. So that's just letting you know you do have a new message in there or something is new. So that looks cool as far as that. Uh, the search is real good. Searching is fast. Search is easy. But one of the things as far as the new enhancement as far as the nearby search, which is pretty cool. So it opens up Google Maps and it'll be able to find your location but also display all the tweets around you on the map itself. You can see exactly where they came from. And I'm going to go ahead and cover up my uh, location here just for uh, safety reasons. I do have some stalkers out there. But anyway, um, you go ahead and scroll through the map. You see the little radar right there searching for any new tweets in it nearby. So go ahead and see if we can lo locate some here in the map. And boom, there's somebody uh, well, two people tweeting on the highway. Well, hopefully I'm not driving next to them, but I do the same thing, so I can't complain. But anyway, we're going to click on there. It shows the person who's um, tweeted it exactly what the tweet was. And it shows the location right on the map. So this is pretty cool. Now this doesn't work for all the tweets. You got to have your location services enabled for this. So uh, so you won't have any stalkers like me. I don't have that enabled. But I really like this to be able to see. And also you can go to the regular list view if you wanted to. All right. And also let's go to uh, my battery is low. But let's go ahead and go to uh, let's see here my profile. You can edit your entire profile, changing your picture. You can do everything with this. So if you want to change your profile picture, you can change your URL for your website or change your name, change your location information in your, in your bio. You can do it straight from the application. It saves you a trip to uh, Twitter.com by doing that. And I do also like to lay it out just the, the regular profile. So any person you're looking at, you can see all their information, who they're following, how many followers, uh, favorites, their tweets, all that is, you know, very simple, very fast. And it, it loads, every, everything loads pretty quickly on this. And this one's taking a long time. All right, there it is. All right, so you can see you go through all of them, scroll through all of them, actually be able to see all of them. Some applications don't allow you to see all the followers. Like I, I saw that in Twitterific. You don't actually load up all the followers. It's kind of weird. But other than that, it's good. And it does have some extra services like Tweet Blocker, Follow Cost, and uh, Favestar.fm. I don't know what those are, but it does. It is an application though. But overall, I'm going to cut this here. So Tweety2 is available. I think I believe it's $2.99 in the App Store. I think it is worth the price. I definitely do like it. A lot of good things with it. But I give it a thumbs up. I give it a salute. That's Tweety2. But thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you later. Peace.